Love you too, man. Just want to uh, give y'all a big shout out, man, to all our new followers that we got. Uh, because of y'all, man, we kind of doing things on the road now. So we're about to grab a couple snacks from your neighborhood 7-Eleven, and I'm going to show y'all how to whip up another concoction, a penitentiary birthday cake, baby. You'll never look at honey buns the same. Last I was in there, I think a honey bun was 90 cents. We'll say a dollar, dollar, that's two dollars. A Snickers is like 65 cents, so that's 265. I'll say about four dollars, five to be safe. What's up, everybody? Back from 7 Eleven, and we had to go ahead and grab a couple of ingredients. Something real quick was a Snickers, a Reese's, two honey buns, and a couple household items. You got honey, you got peanut butter. So, with that being said, I'm going to show you how to freak these honey buns out to a birthday cake real quick first step crack your honey bun frost it and regular so rather than doing two cakes what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna go ahead and bust them both down Make two cakes into one. First step, cut the honey buns. Second step, grab your peanut butter. Go with the bigger piece. Next, you want to grab your candy bar, typically a Snickers. Break it down into pieces. So breaking it down, man, you ain't got nothing, you know, that's over your head to where it's got to be exactly perfect. You just want it to be basically uh, bite-sized pieces. Now, after we're done with that uh, Snickers, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Reese's and basically bust this thing down just like we did the Snickers. So all you really need is one. So Reese's is now broke down to the same capacity, you know, the thickness, the height as the Snickers, but we ain't gonna keep them in there. I'm just wanted to show you a little something right there. But uh, next step, we're gonna go ahead and grab the honey. Some of you may be looking like, man, he ain't had that honey in the beginning. And how he got a bear now and he ain't had a bear. Man, listen, we had some raggedy shit. So we had to run to the stove real quick and grab one of these big headed little bears. So with that being said, let's go ahead and make this do what it do. So I got the regular side of the honey bun and I got the glazed side. So, with the Snickers being here, I'm gonna run some of this honey, real smooth like that, around that thing. It's basically like glue. That's to paste on these Snicker pieces, which is on the side of the naked honey bun. When I mean naked, I mean it ain't got no frosting on it, it ain't got no clothes on it, it ain't got no drawers on it. Inside, y'all know what that is. It look like that. Once you got them snicker pieces glued down to the honey, you still have a little pile that's left over. So we keep that to the side. Next, we're gonna focus on this Reese's. Peanut butter still on there from a little bit earlier. Grab the honey. Just 
drizzle that thing on there. Get the outer edges inside. So you see it wasn't too much, honey. It was just enough to like coat it. So then I'm gonna play with these reasons. Grab some of this, try to cover up the majority of the space. Still leaving a little pile left over. Pat it down just a little bit, make sure everything's tight and snug. After you got this side, just as this side, and they look pretty stable and ready to go, your next step is grabbing the inside of your favorite choice of honey bun, whether it's the glazed or you got the icing. I'm gonna go ahead and roll with this side. Put this on top. Grab your Reese's side, which is the glazed, as you can see. Put it on top. See, now it ain't trying to move. Forgetting where your ingredients is. It's on the inside. Put that on the top. Grab some more peanut butter. Dress them up a little something like this. You know, it's an art. It's an art type of thing. Make them look nice and pretty. Next up, grab the honey. And again, I'm gonna glaze the outside perimeter and the inside. As you see. Grab your leftover Snickers. Sprinkle that on the top. Grab your leftover Reese's. that kind of compact it a little bit as one of the finishing touches grab your honey bear and ice them up just a little bit more you were probably wondering in the beginning why did I cut the honey bear honey bun Wrap her up the way I did, just up by the middle, my fault. That fell over a little bit. But the reason for that is, it's very important. Step here. Okay, so now we're gonna flip this this way, or maybe let's go this way. I'm gonna cover him up like that. So after this, usually inside the joint, we use a Monopoly board. But with that being said, I ain't got one around. So I grabbed the quickest thing I found, which is a book that says, I love daddy. I know that's right. I hope my babies feel that, that same feeling every day. But uh, put this on the top. Apply some of that pressure, that good pressure, no. Pick the book up, angle it like a diamond, press back down. Pick the book up, put it like a square or the Monopoly board, whichever you got. Come out. a mess so we get rid of that keep that out the way put that wrapper back and wham you got some real close to a cake if I didn't know any better I wouldn't tell you to add some more of this 
Now, what I want to show you is some I remembered I had that I keep with me every day. Since a viewer made a comment about my ink saying something along the lines that he doesn't believe I did a time a day in the penitentiary because my tattoos look too good. I said, wow. He says uh, some along the lines that <laughs> he says some along the lines that my tattoos look too good. You know, so I basically got this shit done on the streets. I mean, I wish that was a situation, but in all reality, this shit's what it is, baby. It's real. So here's a little treat for you. Something I keep with me every day to prove that I was in the penitentiary. Not that it's a badge of honor or anything, but it's just something I kept with me because I left with that motherfucker and I'm out here rocking with it. Colorado Department of Corrections, inmate, guys, my government, my DOC number, date of birth. It's real. Yeah, my face is fucked up on there, but it's real, my dude. Something I brought home with me. We use this as a utensil now. So make sure it's flat. This is what we do. Cut that thing up. I'm gonna leave a piece and I'm gonna show you a little something for a bonus trick. As that bonus I was telling you about, how you gonna have a birthday cake without a candle? So with that being said, I'm gonna show you how to rig up a jailhouse candle real quick. Get some toilet paper. You're gonna wanna twist it like this. But before you do that, get a square, fold it in half, hold the top part, pinch it, and twist at the bottom. Grab some Vaseline or some grease. And put it on it while you twist it. You wanna twist it tight. And run, run the Vaseline at the top just a little bit. Twist, 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 twist. It's gonna be long. Break off the bottom, put a little indention in the biggest piece, snake it in it, get a little bit more Vaseline. You want to hear something funny, what's crazy is this Vaseline was really with me in the penitentiary. It's something I brought home and we just kept around for a rainy day like a candle. <laughs> now get a lighter or spark the, the electric socket in your cell, your room, wherever you at, and make it do what it's supposed to. Happy birthday, silly. Happy birthday, for silly. Me. Make a wish. Man, I wish for more YouTube subscribers. Bubba, tell daddy what this is. What's that? What's that? Bye. What? Tell daddy what that is. That's no, a what? No. Is that Dodo? Show daddy Dodo. Hi. Dodo? Here, daddy gonna give you a piece. Tell me if you like it or not. What do you say? Say thank you. Is that good? <laughs> Look at her. Is that good? Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Say hi.